Hi, in this video I'm going to walk you through Word's clipboard. I'll show you how to display it, add it to the quick access toolbar, how to use it, and its options. The clipboard pane is used to store items that you cut or copy within your document. It stores items such as text, pictures, graphics, tables, and lists. And while Word is open, it will also store items from other Word documents, in addition to items from the web and other applications you are using. From within the clipboard pane, you can choose from any of the items listed and paste them into your document. It will store 24 items. I'm going to go ahead and switch over to my Word document so we can get started. Let's start by taking a look at the clipboard pane. To access the clipboard pane, we're going to go up to the Home tab, Clipboard Group, and then click on the Clipboard dialog box launcher. Once we click on it, it will open up the clipboard pane on the left side of our document. And as you can see here, I've got various options on my clipboard already. Images from Word, text from the web, text from Word documents, from Excel, and also an image from PowerPoint. You can also add the clipboard launcher to the quick access toolbar. To do that, we're going to come back up to the dialog box launcher, do a right click, and tell it to add it to the quick access toolbar. Once we do this, you're going to see a clipboard up here and that will access it. Now when it's open, we're going to move across to the right and I'll show you what's available. We've got our drop down, which is the task pane options. When you click on it, it allows us to move it, resize it, and close it from here. So if we want to move it over to the right side of our document, you'll see once we click on it, we get our multiple arrows. From here, we hold down our left mouse button and we can drag it to wherever we want to put it. We can also resize it using the drop down again. And you can see I get the double arrow on my icon so I can stretch it out or shrink it up. And we also have our X to close it out from here. Go ahead and close it. You're going to see when I open it back up in this document, it opens back over to the right because it remembers where I had moved it to. So I'm gonna go ahead and move it back and stretch it out so I've got it taking up the whole side. Let's go ahead and add a few things to our clipboard. So I'm going to come over to my document, take this first paragraph, and I'm going to cut it. And you can see it was added to the clipboard. Now, keep in mind though, if I were to take my paragraph and hit the delete button, that does not add it. It's using the cut and copy features that add things to your clipboard. Okay, let me undo that and put my paragraph back. I'm going to go to my Excel document and I'm going to grab some information off of here. I want to copy it, come back over, and you can see that was added here as well. Do the same thing from the web. I'm going to copy this image and we'll go back to our document. We can see it's been added here. Now if I want to add information from the clipboard to my document, all I need to do is come over to it and once I hover over the item that I want to add, I get a drop down to the right. When I click on the drop down, I can paste it to my document where my cursor was. Or if I no longer need it out here, from the drop down I can delete it and it's gone. Same thing with the information I took from Excel. So I'll click the drop down and I'll paste it. And you can see because I copied it from Excel, it put it into a table. I can continue to add some information. This was from a website that I had taken and it puts it out there as well. Now all the information I have on my clipboard is going to be available if I open up another document. So let's go ahead and start a new document. Go to the backstage, click File blank document and you can see I've got my items available on the clipboard here as well. 
Now if we go to the very bottom of our clipboard pane, you're going to see we've got an options button. When you click this, it's going to give you various options for your clipboard. You can have it show automatically. You can show it when you do the control C press twice, it will bring up the clipboard. And you can also collect without showing the office clipboard. You can show the office clipboard icon on your taskbar and you can show the status near taskbar when copying items. I've switched over to a blank document because I want to show you another feature available within the clipboard. If you look below the clipboard heading, you've got a button for paste all. If I click on this, it will paste all of the options into my document. Okay, if I want to clear everything out of the clipboard, I can click the clear all button and the clipboard is now empty. So that's a quick overview of how the clipboard works. If you have any questions, please let me know below in the comments, or if you have anything else you would like me to go over, please let me know. Thank you.